Hello, so in a previous video I showed my favorite compressor VSTs and today I want to show you how to use them. Without compression your tracks might sound weak or inconsistent, especially on big sound systems. Today we take a look on my track Rewind, where I show you my compression techniques and my favorite compressors in use. So let's get right into it, take my headphones. So we are here uh, in my project file, it's my song Rewind, it's released already on Spotify, SoundCloud, etc. So if you want, you can listen to it. Uh, it's also free to download on SoundCloud, so get it if you want. It sounds like this. Yeah, and we start uh, with the drums. On the drums I have a uh, SSL compressor. Um, the SSL compressor is well known for good punchy drums. I have it on a return channel and I'm using the Pooch Drum Crush preset, which is very good for drums like this. But if you want, you can also go with the API 2500, as I mentioned in my previous video. The API is a really good compressor and I like it also on drums. We set the attack to 1 to 3 milliseconds because of the transients, you know, you have the hi-hats, claps, shaker, etc. You need to protect the transients uh, of these elements, so that's why you set a slower attack. Yeah, then we need a faster release because um, you know, we have a fast BPM and the drums hitting very fast. That's why the compressor should work very fast. And that's why we set a really fast release. I would go about, I think. As you can hear, it pushes the quiet mids a little bit. And give it also some punch. So yeah, the IPI is working as really good, but in this case, the SSL works perfect for me and I keep this one. But yeah, these are my two favorite compressors on drums at the moment. And yeah, um, we can keep go on to the synth. Um, I have the synth here on two parts. Yeah, for the synth I'm using the LA2A. The LA2A is perfect for vocals and uh, slow sounds and for me it works also fine on the synths. The LA2A have a really nice sounding color and it's also really gently boosts your sound. It sounds really nice, that's why I like to use this one, especially on the synths. So when I go there As you can see, I use it uh, really gently, like minus one to minus two dB. In the peak reduction, uh, the LA2A is also really easy to set up. You have the gain knob here, which is like the volume knob and the peak reduction, which is like the threshold on a usual compressor. Which I like about the LA2A from Universal Audio, you have also a dry wet knob here. It's pretty hidden, but uh, it's there and yeah, you can use it also as a limiter, but in this case I keep the compressor setting and have it on my synths. Yeah, so um, as we keep going, um, 
on the drums I can show you also a really nice trick you have the OTT here in Ableton Live the OTT just destroys your dynamics um, and keeps all signals to the front so it sounds like this I put it before the reverb But the nice thing here is you have the dry wet knob here and if you use this one you can just gently boost like maybe 10% your drums and give them more power. So yeah, this is also a way to push your drums, but um, in this case I'm very happy with the SSL compressor, so I don't need the OTT, but if you have some older or shitty samples or you just need more punch in your drums, you always can go back to the OTT and use it for your drums. So. Um, yeah, I think um, the last thing I can show you is my side chain compressor. I'm using the usual compressor of Ableton. You can put it in side chain, choose the kick. Um, go down with the threshold. I always uh, go with the ratio to infinite. Um, You know, it depends on you, but uh, I'm using a very really fast attack because when the kick hits, it should directly pushes the signal down and with the release you can form your curve, as you can see here. So yeah, you can get a really smooth sidechain with this compressor from Ableton and it's definitely enough for the sidechaining. Yeah, as a special I'm pretty sure you want to see also the chain of my synth. So so yeah, here are the MIDI notes in the first case. Then um, I used the Hive synthesizer, which is sim very similar to Serum. Then I made some low cut here, some saturation with the decapitator, some delay. Again, a low cut, but on the mid side, tuning, correlation checking. And yeah, that's pretty it. I mean keep things basic, um, don't overdo the synths. Then, as you can see here, um, I go with some LA2A compressor, as I showed before, some Pultec EQ decapitator again, and some reverb from FabFilter, uh, which sounds really clean, and yeah, that's it. So yeah, if you like the track, it's out now everywhere. And uh, you can also download it for free on SoundCloud. So check the link in the uh, video description. And if you want to see more videos like this, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you have any questions or something, let me know in the comments down below. Hit me up on Instagram, ask me questions, and see you in the next video.